on this channel here, we've looked at the best action figure, but the best action figure cleavage. And today, we're going to look at the best action figure feet. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Jumpman, coming back at you with another video. Today, we're going to rank action figure feet. And we're talking bare feet, not feet with shoes on them, because we're not being perverted here. This is a serious, serious video here. <sighs> shoes with feet on them. What's wrong with you people? It's disgusting. These are action figures we're talking about. Anyway, we're going to look at 10 action figures with bare feet and... The judges, Larry, Dusty, PTC, and Obi-Wan's gonna judge them and let us know what the ranking is. And we're gonna see who's got the best looking feet of these 10 action figures. It's gonna be tough. There's a lot to judge here. What are we gonna talk about? We're gonna have to look at toes. We're gonna look at toenails. We're gonna have to really check these figures out. So let's take a look at the first action figure. And we're gonna start with Jimmy Sanuka. Sanuka, I hope I said that right, from WWF, LJ Line Action Figure Line. Here he is. He's got some nice underwear. Maybe we should rank underwear on action figures because I like those. He's got some knee pads that look like he's seen a lot of action. And he doesn't wear any shoes. So let's get a judge to look at these feet here. Let's see. First, they look like they're really nice. The skin tone looks really right. Toenails look like they've been cut and everything, each one. All the toes look to be in order. No rear toe, no, no little pinky toe hanging out there acting all crazy or anything. Um, I don't see any toe jam. That's good. You don't want to see toe jam. There, um, no hammer toes. No hammer toes. That's great news right there. No hammer toes. We don't want to see that. So let's see what the judges rank the feet of this figure right here. A seven. A seven. They like his action figure feet. I have to agree. These are some good looking feet. So let's look at another one right here from the Thundercats line. I think his name's Monica, but I could be wrong. He is wearing a helmet. He's got some nice underwear. He's got a little thing around his ankle to show some style, but look at those feet. These are alien primate feet right here. They kind of come to a point, not just the toe. Now it looks like the whole toe and everything. If you're in the bed with this guy, he's going to scratch up your feet and everything. You don't want to do that. Uh, he's kind of got a ridge on his feet. I see some bones. Again, no hammer toe. No hammer toe. I don't know about you. I don't find hammer toe sexy. Maybe you do, but he has no hammer toe. I don't see any of that where the toenails kind of turn like a like a wooden look or anything. It doesn't look like he has any fungus around his feet. That's good. So let's see what the judge gives this Thundercats figure. A five. A five on the foot scale. That's right there in the middle. It's not horrible. It's not great. It's just average. How about this guy right here? Who is this guy? I wrote down Power Team. Look like Action Man to me. Maybe you know who he is. But let's look at these feet. Now, I don't know if the judge is going to take points off, but I know usually in a foot competition, they don't like to see a tattoo on a foot. And here he is. He's got an S tattooed on the bottom of his foot. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe it's Sam. Maybe it's Smothers. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just to warn people, smelly. Maybe it's for smelly. I'm not really sure. I can't really get a good look at the feet. It looks like the toes are really good shaped and everything. The color of the toe matches the color of the foot. The foot matches the ankle. Everything looks good right there. Again, there's no hammer toe. No hammer toe. Thank you, Lord, no hammer toe. Um, so again, let's see what the judges say about this one. I think this one's going to be a good one right here. Judges, what do you think about these toes right here? Well, I should say foot, not toes. 7.5. 7.5. That's our winner so far. Whoa. They, the judges, they're over there high-fiving each other. They're really loving this toe or foot. Why do I keep saying toe? We're not ranking toes. Let's move on to this one right here. A ninja action figure. Blue Kick from Rimco's Secret of Ninja line. Uh, let's see here. It's, he's a little fat. Kind of got a fat foot. Looks like he's been baking bread. Do you bake bread or cook bread? It looks like a, like a loaf of bread. The toes are a little not even with the fatness of the foot. Um, it looks like the toes are in good line. No hammer toe. Again, no hammer toe. Thank you. Uh, the toes are, I think it's, I think we're going to get thrown off a little bit with the fatness of this foot. Let's see what the judges have to say. They're still discussing it over there. They're talking about it. They hadn't reached a decision. I, I got the sign. They reached a the decision. Let's see. Three! Three! I guess the fatness, bread look of the foot did throw them off. 
So let's check out another one. How about this one right here? Jamie Priestley from 90210. I don't know his name on the show. I'm sure it was Brand or Brandon or Bradley or something like that. But we're going to check out his foot and see what he gets ranked. And I don't know about you. It looks like a little foot. I know it's hard to see in the picture. It's almost like his hand. Look, it's like a little foot. Uh, but the toes are all shaped right. The little toes, the little one. The big toes, the big one. Uh, the color looks right. No hammer toe. No hammer toe. Uh, no toe jam. No, I don't. Some of you okay with toe jam. Some of you okay with hammer toe. I know I don't like either one of them. But let's see. The judges are discussed. They have a hard. The judges seem to be having a hard time with this one here. Because what do you do? Do you judge it by the size? Sure, it's a little small. Sure, his foot looks like a little hand. But overall, I think the foot looks good. The nails are not too long. The nails are trimmed just right. They're not grossed out nails. They're not rod colors. No fungus or anything. It looks really, really good. But I'm not. The, the judges have a score right here. Let's go. Four. Four. I think they did cut off due to the smallness of the foot. And here we go. A frog. A frog for the Ninja Turtles line. I think his name is Genghis Frog. I could be wrong. But this is kind of... Well, we looked at maybe some alien-looking feet before, but this one's a little... This got kind of web feet to them. I don't really see any kind of toenail or anything. I don't see room for, for a hammer toe. And there's no fungus or anything right there. He does have warts on his leg. He does have warts on his leg. But luckily, I don't see any warts on the feet. That could throw the judges off, I'm sure. I mean, no one wants to see a foot with a wart on it. Uh, he does have something at the ankle that looks like, uh, I don't know, same color as your skin, but it's only on one foot. But again, it doesn't touch the foot. It's on the ankle. Uh, so the judges said they got a score here. So let's check out this turtle frog guy and check out his ranking. Three. The judges did not like these web feet right here. He got three on a scale of one to ten. Let's move on right here to a troll. Remember troll? They had that big old tall hair. Look like they're from Don King or something. And this is a nice looking foot. Good color to the foot. I know it's kind of a short fat foot, but it's fat and the toes are fat. So it all goes together. It's not like uh, the uh, bread foot we saw earlier where the toes are smaller and the foot was bigger. I think these are going to be really good. There's no toenails. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, all the toes seem to be about the same, same length anyway, not the same width. The judges are ready. Let's see what they give this one right here. A nine. Wow. They're high-fiving over there. They're shaking hands. They're celebrating. They're loving this, and I don't blame them. Nine. Nine on the troll foot. Let's look at this one right here. Remember this? Jory LaForge from Star Trek The Next Generation when he had very close vein. Well, it seemed to deform his foot. And it does have some veins on the foot. You don't want veins on your foot, if you ask me. Veins on your penis, I can understand. But we're not going to rank penises this week. So, let's see. if the, I'm one of the judges. One of the judges are going to take off. He doesn't really have feet. He's got something really pointy at the top of it. These, to me, I don't think this is going to be too good here. But I never know. Sometimes the judges throw us for a loop. And I see they got the decision made. So, let's see what they give Jory LaForge with very close veins. A one. A one. These are the worst feet that Larry's over here going, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him, Larry. I can see why you're doing that. Oof, nasty. Just nasty. Let's look at another red snaggletooth. Don't worry, it's not a blue snaggletooth. Because blue snaggletooth, he wore silver boots to the disco. Not red snaggletooth. He went barefooted. And Let's see, we got some hairy feet. They're a little small, but hairy though. I mean, if you're making love to a hairy foot, you're gonna get some hair in your mouth. We all know how that is. We all been there, haven't we? <laughs> Reminds me of a night in Albuquerque, but we'll talk about that some other day. Toenails are kind of an odd looking color, but I don't see any hammer toes. No hammer toes. But yeah, the toenails are an odd color, almost like a brown rotten look. So let's see what the judges say about these feet right here. A six. I'm surprised. I thought the hair and the toenails that look more like fangs, I thought this was going to get a lower, but six isn't bad. Way to go, Red Snaggle. And I think we have time just for one more. Oscar Goldman, six million dollar man's boss. Yeah, the goat, as the kids would say today. Here he is right here. He's got some nice blue underwear on, uh, but we're not here again ranking underwear at this particular time. He's got some nice muscles and everything. He's got some weird looking ankles. Ankles look like ball joints. 
Don't know about that. Nice looking feet. The toe. It looks like the big toe's the longest. I don't know. Mine, on well, my toes, my second toe's the longest. Is that normal? Is his normal? I'm not really sure. He's got some penny loafers, but he's took them also. We take a look at his feet. And whew, no toe jam. No toe jam. And best of all, no hammer toe. It's not hammer time when it comes to Oscar Goldman. Look at that. But to be honest with you, take his, he's got his shirt off and he needs to put that bird back in the cage because, uh, well, let's move on because we're not here to judge Oscar Goldman's chest right this time anyway. Let's see what the judges say about Oscar Goldman's feet. An eight! An eight! That's a good one there. Eight, but he doesn't win. He doesn't win. No, he doesn't. But winner, winner, chicken dinner, we do have a winner. The troll feet won. I can't believe it. I mean, they were kind of weird shaped and everything. They didn't look like normal feet. I thought they was going to throw them off a little bit. But the judges, they're still high-fiving. They, they, hold on. The judges asked if they could see that again. Sure, you can't judge. Let me just go back really quick right here. The judges wanted to see that again. Print it out. What? What's that, Larry? Can you print it out for me? I don't know if I can allow that. You have to tell the troll about that. But, man, that, that's it. That's the winner. Troll feet. I'm very, very surprised about that. I don't know if you are, but I know I am. Well, let me know. Was the judges wrong? Was there any feet here you like? Or do you have an action figure with some feet we didn't show? Maybe we'll rank them next time. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.